awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? This won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here. I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. Hmm. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> She would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one. 
Talon is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Or... Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Then she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the world tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, 
The Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. It's life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... the light? I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <gasps> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. I said nothing. Wait, because when you said something. 